Here it is Saturday, 8.30. I, uh, not prepared. Don't have a set list. Uh, but I will be playing some stuff. I'm not sure that I'm going to play for the full half hour today. Um, I might just play for about 15 or 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see, you know, um, what I can do. Let me start with the flute. Get some chapstick, it helps. Lizzie, hey Christine. So I think I did better with that today than last week. The chapstick does help, especially if it's minty, because it makes you uh, think of mint, I guess. I don't know. I was going somewhere with that and just lost it. So I'm going to play some tunes. I'm going to start with the uh, Dogs Among the Bushes, the one I tried to play last week and for some reason was just terrible at it. I've been practicing it all day. Been playing it fine all day, so you know I'm gonna screw it up when I play it here, but I'll still give it a try. So I got through it. It wasn't perfect. I, uh, I made some minor timing problems, but uh, I didn't totally screw it up, so that's nice. Um, it's actually kind of hot in here, so I want to turn on my fan, but I need you guys to tell me if it interferes with the sound too much, because if it does, I'll just not turn it on. Um, so that's it on. Is that okay with you guys? Okay, I'm going to play some more. Tell me if the fan just has too much issues. Uh, this one is called The Sally Gardens. 
it's not down by the Sally Gardens, which is that slow tune that uh, I play sometimes. Hey, Cindy. Um, okay, so uh, mwah. hope you're having a good time in Louisiana. I'm going to try to play this, but hold on just one sec. I had to turn the fan just a little bit because it was blowing right across the side of the whistle. Uh, most whistles, that just cuts the sound out. So here we go. This is the Sally Gardens reel. I think this is the Sally Gardens reel. Now I'm not sure. Now that I think about it, I think that is swinging on a gate and not Sally Gardens, um, which highlights an interesting problem with the oral tradition that is Irish music. Uh, a lot of times when people play in a session, they don't talk about the names of the tunes, or if they do, they just kind of say it really quickly. And you know, people don't usually write down with a pencil or anything like that what the tune was. Um, and people forget the names. And so a lot of times they'll just make up a name for it, or they'll get the name wrong for it. Uh, so it's hard to say what the right name of any tune is because so many tunes have so many varieties of names. Um, take the high reel, for instance. I know at least three different reels named the high reel and one named uh, the old high reel, one named the new high reel, and one named the real high reel. So uh, some people are kind of sticklers for the names, and I used to be, uh, but I don't worry as much about it these days because if you go to like the Fiddler's Companion online which is a, a website I think Keolis helps run which is a, a Irish organization to help uh, maintain their traditions um, especially concerning music um, CCE, Keol, Terra era and something I'm bad with my Irish but uh, if you look up any one tune you'll see that they have probably ten other alternate names so I mean I try I just don't try that hard um, so I think this is the real Sally Gardens real. <laughs>
Uh, and yes, I will link it um, when I'm done playing. I'll look up the the, uh, the website address for it and put it in the comments um, so that you can look up the names of tunes and stuff. Um, another good example is the Battle of Augram is one tune, and after the Battle of Augram is another tune, but those names are used interchangeably for both tunes. So I got in an argument with a guy one time. He was like, that's after the Battle of Augram that you're playing. And I'm like, okay, you win. But it's, those names are interchangeable among both tunes. So uh, I just let him have it because not worth arguing over, really. So those were... Ouch, sorry about that, guys. For some reason, Facebook cut me off. But luckily, it came back. Uh, those are both reels. And uh, I'm going to be playing some jigs now. Once again, sorry for the interruption. It was uh, it was Facebook being silly, and I will get uh, crested hens out in a little bit here, Lizzie. I guess that's what happens when you talk about what you're going to say instead of paying attention to the tune you're playing. Um, that was Blarney Pilgrim followed by the Kess Jig and those are old chestnuts. Those are basically the free bird of the Irish music tune world. Uh, everybody knows them. Almost nobody plays them because they're just like played to death. They're like, I guess, the Kesha <laughs> of Irish music. Kind of, you know, has a good beat to it, but everybody's heard it a million times. Okay, so I'm going to do Crested Hens. Uh, and I guess I could do it on the big whistle, if I knew where the big whistle was. Um, but, you know, I don't really know what I did with it, so I guess I can try it on the flute. And you'll just have to forgive me. Oh, wait, there's the big whistle. Ha-ha, on the big whistle.
I think I did pretty good on that one that time. The dogs are going crazy. That's their uh, let's go to the dog park music when I play the big whistle. And they are just flipping out, whining and running in circles at the outside the door there. You guys go away. So the thing with Irish music that happens to me, and I know it happens to other people too, is when you make a mistake, and you know you've made the mistake, you know you don't ever play it that way, and you know the right way to play it, but then the second and third time around, your fingers want to do the same thing it just did, which is really annoying. But I guess it's good in competitions, because if it doesn't sound bad, which I know that did just then, but if it doesn't sound bad, then it just sounds like a variation and not a mistake. Whereas if you correct yourself, then, uh, then the judges will know you've made a mistake. But I can't help it. Whenever I make up one mistake, if I keep going and just try to play through it, second time around in the same place, same mistake. Okay. Uh, this is another reel. I'm trying to play more reels today because I've been playing a lot of jigs the last few weeks. Um, and I know reels. Um, so I tried to practice some, and I'm just going to try to play them today. Uh, this one is called the Silver Spear, which I think is uh, based on some Irish mythology folklore spear, but I don't know for sure.
So that was the Silver Spear. Um, played kind of at a medium slow speed and then a little faster, maybe just above dancing speed. Um, yeah, thanks, Lizzie. I, uh, I think I do better when I don't prepare. I think when I prepare, I get more nervous. And if I just wing it, I don't have time to think about it. So, uh, I don't know. I think I'm doing pretty good today. Um, let's see. That was Dusty Windowsills. Um, I like that one, and I'm pretty convinced that it was written by a whistle player just because of the way the ornaments roll and the way the octaves break. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty convinced it was either a whistle or a flute player who, who wrote that tune. Um, let's see. I've got, wow, it's almost been half an hour already. Uh, I've got about five minutes or so. Um, so I'll try to get one or two more tunes in. Um, uh, I'll do Farewell to L Wally Range. That's the slip jig that I played so badly last week. Uh, I'll do better today. You think it's the shirt? <laughs> um, I did dress a little nicer. It's buttoned down, not a t-shirt. I guess I can play a slow one to roll out with. Um, I'll see if I can do the butterfly on the flute. Gotta get the magic chapstick. That's what makes it all happen, the minty flavor. Nope, I can't do it butterfly on the flute yet. So I'll do it on the big whistle instead.
So I really need to quit thinking of what I'm going to say to the stuff I read while I'm playing. Every time I do that, it messes me up. But David, I am experimenting still with uh, the camera placement, the phone placement. Um, I think I finally got in a position where it's not pointing at an angle where you can see up into the tops of my sinus cavities. So that's a, a bonus. Um, I am going to try to get it so that you can see more of the whistle. I mean, I know I'm good looking and everything. But I know you guys also want to see, you know, this action. Um, so it is right about 9 o'clock. A half hour came and went so fast. I didn't even talk very much this time. Uh, I just played mostly. Um, though I did lose probably two or three minutes to Facebook's, you know, freezing me up. Um, so if you guys know of any tunes that I play that I haven't played and you want to hear them, um, shoot me a comment and I'll see if I can dig them back out. If you guys uh, would like me to learn a tune that I can play on the whistle, because I can't play like every Irish song on the whistle because some of them are in weird keys. Uh, I might not be able to play them the very next week, but it doesn't take me very long to get the bare bones of a tune in. And so I'd be happy to learn a couple, uh, expand my own horizons. Um, until then, thank you everybody for showing up. Thank you everybody who commented. Uh, and I will see you next week.